everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Uh, this week I am focusing on the Sweet Songbirds bundle from the brand new 22 to 23 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. Uh, this is a fun bundle. It's got a punch. We all love a punch. So it is really fun. There's a lot of stamps in here that we're going to use to make a little bird scene. Um, we're going to actually make a fun fold. Um, it looks like this in the front and then it opens up like this, holds a gift card and it will sit up on a shelf like that. I was online looking for an idea to make a fun fold and I found this design from Terry Gaines. So thank you, Terry. This is a really cute um, fun fold idea. All right, well, let's get started. I think what we'll do first is our stamping, okay? We're going to stamp these little birds. Um, one thing I want to show you is that this is a builder punch. Um, which means it has several images in here that you can line up so that when you stamp them, um, you can punch them all out together. I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is get just a scrap piece of cardstock, punch out your shapes, and then you're going to lay down your stamps in the negative space that's left there. Now, I am using actually two different wings here. See, we're gonna put the little wing on here. And this actually isn't the wing, it's actually the belly uh, of the bird. Um, but I'm gonna use it like this to make our little bird look like he's kind of fluffing up his wings. All right, we'll set that one down right in there. And you wanna kind of get them centered right in that, that little negative space, take your block, and then pick them up. Okay, so now when we stamp them, they're going to all punch out together. They're going to be lined up perfectly, and it's going to make things easier. Um, sometimes when you try to stamp them separately, um, and then you go to punch all of them, you waste a bunch of paper. So this is a really easy way to get them all at the same time. Now, another thing I want to show you is that you have to kind of decide where you want to stamp this. If you stamp this up here in the middle of your paper, you're going to have a hard time reaching it. Um, we can see that the bird is down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna stamp it down here on the edge. And in my experience, I've found that he's a little kind of angled up just a tiny bit like that, okay? So I'm stamping all of these pieces in Daffodil Delight. My, my uh, bird has been used so many times that he's now stained, but it's just a stain, as you can see. It's all, it, doesn't, it doesn't mess up the actual image. As long as you clean your stamp when you're done, you'll be all right. All right, line them up and punch them out. All right, now that little piece right there is the beak if you wanna use that, but we're not gonna use that today. Now I have cut out two basic white uh, stitched rectangles and we're gonna stamp kind of this little bird scene on here. Um, one is looking at the other. So you're gonna to wanna to get your grid paper Mine is, of course, falling down on the floor. Let's put that right here. And we're gonna start with the branch and we're gonna stamp that branch in soft suede. And I'm gonna stamp it two different ways. I'm gonna have it coming kind of like this over here on this one. And then this one I'm gonna have coming straight across, maybe a little bit higher so they don't look identical. All right, now we're gonna also stamp that bird's nest on a separate piece. There's no part of the punch that cuts out the bird nest, unfortunately, so we're gonna fussy cut it. It's really easy. If you don't wanna fussy cut it, you could stamp it right there, no problem. Uh, let's see, we need the leaves, so I'm gonna grab the leaf stamp and granny apple green and you'll see it lines up perfectly right there with the branch this is a fun uh kind of a builder stamp set where you can just build a little a little scene which is fun all right now polished pink and we'll do the little flowers and we'll just kind of stamp them randomly around like that and then, oh, let's do our sentiments with our polished pink. I'm gonna use a little birdie told me, and we'll put that down here. It looks like I stamped my branch much lower this time, but that's okay. 
And we'll do this one. It's your special day. Right, right there. Okay, so now we have the little feet for the bird. So I'm going to take my little feet and put them right there, standing on the branch. And let's bring our little bird over. And I'm going to put the eyes. We have two options for the eyes, the little dots and then the little kind of crescent um, moon shape. And those, I think, kind of look like he's singing. He's got his eyes closed like that. Now, I forgot, we need one more of those wings that aren't the wings. So I'm going to stamp that again over here on this piece. We just need that one wing. So I'm not going to worry too much about the bird. Let's get that punched out right there. Okay, and now I'm gonna take some dimensionals. Let's see, I've got my big dimensionals. I think that will work. And I'm gonna put one like this, kind of floating up. And then I'm gonna take the other one and put that on with liquid glue. And let's see if I can get it picked up. And it's kind of up like that. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, we'll put him on right here where we have his little feet. Like he's just come in for a landing. All right, now over here, let's go ahead and cut out our nest. I'm gonna use my little paper snips. These are great for fussy cutting because they're small and they're really sharp. And I'm just kind of going around the edge like that. Now, we're not gonna put it on quite yet. I'm gonna just kind of lay it here so that I know exactly where to stamp my other little bird, okay? So kind of eyeball it right about there. All right, and we'll put that. Oh, he's kind of leaning forward, isn't he? That's okay. He's looking down at his friend saying hello. Wouldn't this be a fun set for kids? I mean, I'm a grown up and I think it's fun. But I think the kids would love this. All right, now I've got a little scrap of polished pink and I am gonna punch out that, that beak right there. And with a very small, tiny little dot of glue, we will adhere it right there. Use your, take your pick tool to pick it up. All right, and then we've got that little bitty um, wing. And I do think I'm gonna need to find my many dimensionals. You know, I always have the wrong dimensional. If I need big ones, I have small ones. If I need small ones, I need big ones. Do you guys have that problem? Murphy's Law, right? All right, well, I picked up both of them, but we only want that one right there. And we'll put that up like that, He's saying, hello, friend. All right, did I get it all? I think so. We're gonna put a little flower right here. I have cut out some of these little flowers from with a hydrangea dye, okay? And there we have it. You know, I don't like how there's a big space. I left too much space. See how I stamped the branch higher here? So you know what? You can solve that problem by just stamping another branch. We'll bounce it off. And look, there's like a little ant crawling across my paper. How strange. I've never had that happen before in a video. Let's see. Can I stamp this without getting it on my bird? Let's see. There we go. All right, should we add a couple more flowers? I think we should. There's one, and we'll do one like that. Okay, now I feel like it's much more balanced. Looks better. Okay, so we've got all of our cuties. Let's um, set those aside, and we will make the card part now. I've gotta close up all my ink pads. If you don't close up your ink pads while you're stamping, Murphy's Law will also tell you that you're gonna drop your card into the open ink pad. I can't tell you 
how many times I have learned that unfortunate lesson. All right, I think I've made enough room here, maybe. Well, man, we used a lot of stamps. Okay, we're gonna bring over the Simply Scored. You can also score with your stamp and trimmer, but I prefer the Simply Scored. Um, I have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that is five and a half by 11. And we're gonna score it at one and three fourths, three and a half, five and a fourth, and seven, okay? And we also have this little piece of polished pink. It is five by three and three fourths, and we're going to score it in the middle at two and a half. Okay, now take your bone folder. You wanna use your bone folder. It's gonna make your card nice and crisp. Make all those score lines that you just made nice and sharp so that it will close and and stand up evenly. Okay, now I have cut three pieces of the perfectly penciled designer series paper. Isn't that cute? It's all black and white. And I decided to add some color to the flowers. So I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight stamp and blend and just add in some color here. Um, you know, that's one fun thing about black and white paper. Of course, I love to leave black and white paper alone, black and white, but you can also add pops of color to it with your Stampin' Blends. All right, I have left the ones in the middle uncolored because we're gonna cover those up in a minute anyway. I probably didn't need to color all of them, but just in case. All right, we're gonna adhere that right here. Now we're gonna take the striped paper and I'm using our stamp and seal adhesive. Put that right there. And our polka dot adhesive. Put that right there. All right, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna fold it in half like a card. Um, and we're gonna adhere that to the front here and to this last section here evenly. So I'm gonna put adhesive on it and I'm gonna close it and then seal it like that, okay? So you wanna put adhesive down this side right here and this side right here. All right, so get this centered right in the middle. You can kind of eyeball it. And there we go. Does that look centered? I think so. Okay, now I have a piece of basic black and we're gonna adhere that so that it kind of frames our polished pink piece, okay? So put that on. And then I'm just gonna kind of set it there like that and then lay it down and press it in. I have cut another piece of our that same perfectly penciled designer series paper. I'm gonna punch a um, half a circle in the top and we're gonna put adhesive only on the three straight sides to create a pocket, okay? So I just put adhesive on the bottom and on the left and on the right. Okay, now let's put our cute birds and then we're almost done. This would make a really special uh, birthday card for somebody. And, you know, I think that that somebody will probably like to display this card. That's why I wanted to show you that it does in fact stand up. Sometimes fun fold cards don't stand up, but this one does. Right there. All right, last but not least, I have a couple more flowers that we'll put right here. Same hydrangea flowers. And we'll put one there and one there. All right, then I'm gonna add a couple of pearls to the center of our flowers, right there. And there you have it. 
All right, now make sure you hop back to my blog. I have a free PDF for you that has the measurements and the supply list, as well as two other sweet songbird projects. I hope you enjoyed this project. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.